Hey there, Graves Burke coming to you live from Overcast, Los Angeles. I've got Kobe Cat here with me. She's going to join in on today's Facebook Live. Thank you so much for joining me. It's great to have you here. And if you do me a favor real quick, just uh, comment in the comment box, letting me know if you can hear me okay. That way I know I'm not just talking to myself. Or go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, wonderful. Now that we got that taken care of, Graves Burke coming at you live. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the three word question that you can use to close more sales. And it's probably not what you think. But before we jump into that, I just wanted to let you know if you like what you hear on today's live and you'd like to have a little bit of help in your business, all you have to do to book a brainstorming session with me is go to bookburke.com. Let me see if I can get the uh, URL to pop up here. There we go. Bookburk.com. You'll be asked a couple of questions and then it'll take you to my calendar. And then you and I can jump on the phone and we can go through stuff just like in today's video, but personal and private, just you and I one-on-one. -on -one. All right. So let's get into the lesson for today. Now, clients come to me all the time and they say, Graves, how do I get more consistent sales? And these are businesses that have been around for years, you know, two, three, four, five plus years. So they know their product, they know their service, they've got clients that buy from them on a regular basis, but what is driving them crazy is that they're not making consistent sales month after month, almost like clockwork. And they tell me that they feel incredibly frustrated and stressed out because they don't feel like they have um, a steady increase in sales. It feels more like an up and down roller coaster of sales. And as you know, roller coasters are fun, but not making sales is not fun. And so one month they might make a, a, a lot of sales and bring in some really good cash flow. And then the next month will be down and the next month after that is up and the next month is down. And they start to feel like maybe they're doing something wrong and they're getting stressed out and they're looking at everybody else around them. They're looking at other businesses on Facebook that appear to have more likes and comments and shares and they equate that to more sales. They look uh, across the street at their neighbors or they look at their friends who are still in jobs and they think, man, did I make a mistake? Starting my own business, was that the right decision or should I have just stuck with a job where I get paid vacation and I get health insurance and I get security? And I can understand where, this is, where they're coming from with this because it is stressful being your own boss and being your own marketer and being your own salesperson. Uh, there's a saying that when you go into business for yourself, you have uh, <laughs> the world's best and the world's worst employee, you. And so it can be really stressful. And the thing that really kills me is that they start second guessing themselves. And that's the last thing I ever want them to do. So when they come to me asking for consistent sales, I tell them there's only three things you need to do in your business. Number one, you need to be building a family around you. And I call it a family. Other people might call it leads or prospects or clients, but I consider it a family. These are people that are trusting you with their hard earned money to provide a product or service. And so for me, that's family and it's family that you love. You know, you look forward to the emails from them and you look forward to the phone calls with them. So I tell them you need a family and you need to be growing that family on a regular basis. This is a family that gets to grow. And then the second thing you need is messaging. It doesn't matter if it's sales messaging or market messaging. Um, or even just touching base or reactivating a past client messaging, but you need messaging and you need messaging going out on a regular basis consistently. And that can be email or video or Facebook posts. It can be text or audio or it doesn't matter, but you do need that. That's number two. And then the last thing you need to be doing is closing sales. And that brings us to today's video. The three word question that you can use to close more sales. But before I tell you what that three word question is, I want to tell you a little story. When I was building my first digital marketing agency, I was working primarily with personal injury lawyers. And there were a couple other lawyers and practice practice areas, but it was primarily personal injury and mass tort. And so I would get attorneys calling me 
and saying, hey, Graves, can you help me in, in with my SEO or with my PPC or with my social media or with my advertising? And I would dive in. I would go in through uh, into all the, here's all the keywords you need to be ranking for and here's the landing pages you need and this is what you need to be giving away and this is where you want your phone number and this is what color you want the, the phone number and this is where you want your, your opt-in for a consult. And I would go into all the minutia and it would help them. But then we'd get to the end of the call and this was maybe a 30 or 45 minute call. We get to the end and they'd say, you know what? That sounds great. Let me think about it. And I was so frustrated because I wasn't making as many sales as often as I wanted to. Now, we were making really good money because our clients were worth anywhere from $3,500 a month to $7,500 a month, and they would stay for uh, anywhere from a year to four years. So the money wasn't the issue, but the consistent sales drove me nuts. Why weren't they saying, yes, I need this? And then one day I discovered that I was making a mistake early on in the beginning of that sales presentation, in the beginning of that sales call. I wasn't finding out what they truly valued. They don't value SEO. They don't value PPC or social media. You've probably run into this in your business where, you know, people are like, oh yeah, uh, my aunt or, or uncle can do that or my nephew can do that or, you know, that kind of a thing. And, and so they don't value the commodity. They value what the commodity allows them to do in their life. And so I started asking this three word question when I would ask them what they were looking for or what they were wanting. And I started asking, and what else? Now I wouldn't say it like that, but that's it. Three words, and what else? Super simple. So I'd say, hey, what brings you to me today? Well, I'd like to get some SEO or maybe some PPC or maybe a web redesign. Okay, cool. And what do you really want that to provide you in your life? What do you want that to provide you in your business? That's where I would go next. And then they would say, oh, well, I'd like more business. I'd like more clients. I want to get more cases in, in through the front door. And then I started using this question. And what else? And they weren't used to answering that, uh, answering that question. So they'd have to go inside. Now they wouldn't immediately go inside. I'd ask this question three or four times. And we, every time I would ask it, we would go another layer deeper into what it is they truly wanted. Well, I'd like more business. Wonderful, I can definitely help you with that. And what else? Well, I'd like to be able to take some time off from my law practice and, and know everything's going well. Perfect, time off is wonderful. And what else? Well, I'd like to be able to take my family to Disneyland to be completely unplugged. Boom. Now we're at the part that holds value for them. Over here we have SEO. Over here we have time with the family completely unplugged, making memories. Which of those two things do you think they're going to value more? Anybody in, on Google can give you SEO, but not everybody can help you with your law practice so that you can take time off and you can be with your family. And that's where the true value came from. So I'd have to ask it a few times to get to the real heart of the matter. And then when I felt like I had all the value I needed to help them, I would end it with anything else. That's it. So the three word question and what else? And then the last two word question, anything else? It just puts a nice cap on it. And now as we're going through the remainder of the sales call. I'm tying everything back in, not to SEO and keywords and landing pages. I'm tying everything back into more free time, tying everything back into that first vacation, tying everything back into the excitement that their significant other and their kiddo is gonna have on vacation and the memories they're gonna make and how all the other attorneys in the law practice are gonna be jealous, etc. And I'm giving them something that nobody else can give them. And this is what's going to allow you to close more sales in your business is by giving them what they truly, truly value. And the only way you can figure that out is if you go deep enough at the beginning of the call and you get them to open up and share with you what it is they truly want. So all you got to do is ask, and what else? That's it. 
So uh, before I forget, if you would like to book a private call with me, uh, let's put that URL up there again. If you'd like to book a private brainstorming call with me, all you have to do is go to bookburk.com. You'll be asked a couple questions and then uh, you'll be taken to my calendar and we can jump on the phone. I'll give you a call and we'll have a call. We'll talk about what's going on in your business and what's going on with your marketing and what's going on with your sales. And maybe we'll discover that the reason you haven't been making as many sales is because we need to find out a little bit more value in the discovery portion of the call. Or maybe we do need to help them trust you more and like you more and value your product and service more by tying it into what they truly value in life. So I encourage you to play with that three word question, add it to your sales calls. But if it feels a little bit uneasy because you've never done it, don't stress. Here's what I want you to do instead. I want you to start using that question with the people around you. Use it with your friends, use it with your family. Use it with people that use it with current clients, people that you already have a really strong relationship with and you don't have to feel nervous about digging into into what they really want in life. And I'll give you an example. So let's say you're talking with your friend. Just say, hey, what'd you get up to this weekend? Oh, well, I went to the beach and we had a really good time. It was pretty fun. Oh, nice. I love going to the beach. I haven't been in forever. And what else did you do? And they're going to be, oh, well, uh, and they're going to have to think about it, but they'll go inside. And just ask it two or three times and then end with anything else. And just practice that. Get really comfortable asking your family that. Ask your kiddos that. How was your day at school? What happened at school? What did you learn? Oh, we learned math. Oh, cool. You learned some math. Great. And what else? Oh, we also had a really fun uh, book we read in, in reading class. That was great. Oh, okay, great. And what else? Well, uh, not anything that I can think of. Let them tell you that it's okay. And then you can close it if you need to with anything else. So practice that three word question on everybody around you, start using it. And you're going to find that the conversations you start having with people go deeper and are more meaningful than you might be used to. And personally, I find that to be really fun and enjoyable as the people around me open up and as I get to open up and really experience them and what they're going through. And then as you bring this into your business and you bring it into this, the discovery portion of your sales calls, what is it that you really want 12 to 24 months from now? What do you want in your business? Well, I'd like to make more money. Okay, great. More money is wonderful. I can definitely, we can talk about that. And what else? Well, you know, I'd like, uh, I'd like to be able to take a weekend off. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Weekends off can be really good. What else? Uh, I'd like to be able to hire somebody to replace me. Okay, wonderful. So we want more time off, more money, somebody to replace you. Anything else? And now we've gotten way more out of it than just SEO or marketing or sales. So that was another last minute example. I think you get the idea now. Give it a shot. Let me know how you like it. And uh, if you really liked this video, why don't you go ahead and leave a comment? Just let me know you like the content and I will be doing more Facebook lives like this where we will go through sales, we'll go through building your family, we'll go through your messaging and I'll give you more tips and tricks that you can start using immediately in your business to get really good results. And if you have any friends or colleagues that you think might enjoy this video, go ahead and feel free to share it with them or tag them in the comment section so that they can benefit from this in their sales as well. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been great. Let's see if we have any questions over here. Uh, looks like, no, we're just, uh, was able to be heard. That's wonderful. So if you do have questions, drop them in the comment box and I'll get back to, uh, to answering those. And we've got uh, audition time. I'm not sure what Fred's saying with that, but Fred, thank you. <laughs> Fred James says, okay, audition time. And we've got Jamie saying awesome with a hand clap. So thank you so much for joining me. I'll give it another second or two. And uh, while we're waiting for a couple of questions to come through again, if you would like to book a call with me uh, with a brainstorm call where we dive headfirst into your business, just go to bookburk.com. That's B-O-O-K-B-U-R-K-E.com. And uh, you got to type the www in there and it's going to take you to a landing page that just has a couple questions. It'll take you less than two minutes to answer. And then it'll take you over to my calendar and you can jump on my calendar and we can have a fun call just like this where we figure out how we can help you in your business. 
So thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.